Our current script is very simple. I mean, we're not using anything more than uh, a simple check whether or not geolocating abilities are available to our browser or device. Now, ultimately, we're trying to get um, at at minimum the uh, latitude and longitude of the user their coordinates and in order to do that we really have to dig uh, deeper into this um, geolocating API to get those values so let's start by kind of setting up our script to do that and um, first I'm going to just comment out this document right on the if statement because I don't need that and I'm going to start digging into, well, essentially I need to get to the latitude and longitude values. So in order to do that, I'm going to set up a script to do the following. After if, I'm going to go navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition. And in getCurrentPosition, I'm going to make a function called get location. So uh, let's just talk about what we have over here. Now navigator is an object. Now it's now it's in we didn't need to include any other script even though we have jQuery at the top over here. Navigator is just the object that is the geolocating element that comes uh, you know packaged into HTML now. Uh, geolocation says whether or not uh, it it has that ability. Can you do geolocation? Can you not? Get current position is actually interesting because that's what's going to start the uh, the process of finding that position. Get the current position. Now you can't name get current position is specifically named, um, and that's one of the methods that geolocation can do. Get the current location. Now get location is what I created okay so this is going to be a method that I'm going to add some more values to actually this is a get current positions a success callback uh, and a callback means that if the current position is retrieved successfully you need to execute get location this thing that I'm creating so uh, simple enough uh, let me actually now declare that function later on in my code so let me now that I see this function is here uh, I'm gonna comment at the end that it ends check location so I don't get things confused now I'm gonna start a new function and what I want to do is name this function obviously not check location but get location. So now we've set up the stage to do something once we successfully get the location. So just to clarify, we're at navigator.geolocation. At this point, this object, this geolocation object, this, or actually up top over here, is just saying whether or not the ability to find the geolocation is available. Once we add this second thing to it, we say, well, did you get it? So first we say, hey, can you do it? And then, you know, the browser says, yes. So let's go down a little deeper. Well, did you get the location? And if the browser says yes, we're going to say get location. And now we're going to set the stage for what exactly we want to happen with that successful retrieval of our location.